So guys, what's up Aries? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, and the obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that, that the energy can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading. So just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. If that resonates, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. All right, you got the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Magician. I mean, you could be, this is your energy, but I mean, this could just be the energy that you're in. You could be dealing with the air sign. This is like, you may have, somebody may have cut out something here. Kind of a no bullshit energy, but then it looks like it turns around, like, a lot of confidence to move forward and make things happen. All right, media future for Aries, please. And here you got the temperance card, Sagittarius energy. That is about healing. Kind of a waiting period, letting go. Damn, the five of cups. Somebody may still carry with them some regret there because they're worried like crazy. I don't know whose energy this is. This could always be somebody that you were dealing with. So we have a lot of healing, right? This is a good energy. This is a peaceful energy, a uh, non-stressful kind of just going with the flow, letting go. And now it looks like there's some guilt or regret for letting go. We'll see when we clarify it. And as a result, somebody ends up stressed, worried. Show me this temperance card for Aries, please. The Seven of Swords. Somebody could have had some secrets here. Somebody's plan may have backfired is kind of how it's feeling. Show me the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is Aquarius energy, but it can be a sneaky energy. It's a liar, cheater, liar, cheater, thief card. Please. Could be dealt in Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is too many to take. It looks like communication is trying to come through. What is the Seven of Swords for Aries, please? One card. The Two of Wands. Somebody has a choice here. You have a choice. Maybe somebody was just, like I said, dishonest. But it looks like there was some healing. Like, you may have kind of moved on from that. You may have also a plan just in general about how to move forward. But it looks like something kind of fell apart over here with the tower. Show me this five of cups, please, for Aries. Yeah, somebody somebody could have withheld some information. I mean, literally withheld, like, some type of property or was just having a hard time, like, letting go of something, and they're still having that problem. This is a lot of, like I said, regret, embarrassment, because somebody doesn't want to let go of the situation. They're incredibly nervous now. Looks like paranoia has set in. Somebody may have... Um, block communication with the seven of wands. This is like a lot of time for reflection. You have a couple of sevens here. The strength card, Leo energy. Somebody is still definitely holding on to this. After a period of which looks as if, like I said, there there's healing there. There's moving past it. Now all of a sudden somebody is stressed out. Damn the devil. They're stalking. Whoever that is, it's kind of like be careful what you wish for energy. Because somebody is definitely trying to hold on to the situation. Now worried, paranoid, nervous. And this is a lot of anxiety. Losing sleep type. Like just laying there thinking about it. Show me this nine of swords for the outcome for Aries, please. Oh, shoot. Show me this nine of swords, please. The Six of Pentacles. I mean, it's kind of like the grass wasn't greener. That's, like I said, somebody's playing. It kind of feels like backfire. The Queen of Wands here, that's your energy. It kind of feels like, you know, somebody may be a little, this is obsessed type energy, very hooked on you. 
What is, uh, tell me more about the outcome for Aries. You definitely could have choices. You could have other options. You're coming in as very confident, very busy. The Knight of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Somebody is rushing all the way back in incredibly quickly. They do love you. The feelings are real, but it may, may not be the time. You have the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Four of Cups, Cancer Energy. You, you may not go towards this right now. This is kind of like a fed up or like a not interested energy. But either way, um, this is a kind of like a missed opportunity or not taking an opportunity. Like the cup is right there, but you're not going towards it. You may have other things to do. You may just be busy with, um, you know, like I said, life, other things. Or you just you may decide that this is too much and walk away from the situation. Either way, you got this person stressed out. It doesn't even have to be a person, though, because, I mean, it, it feels like it is. But at the same time, we have the devil here. So that could be anything from, like, a person, an addiction. But it, it feels like a person because as soon as you let go, so, like, for instance, say this devil is, like, like an addiction, like drinking or something. This is kind of like quitting or, like, healing from that, moving past it. Because this was a cycle when you kept taking the same path that would just lead you right back around. For some, it really feels like a person. But communication may be blocked altogether in some instances. Remember, it's just a general reading. All right, Aries, I hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care, and I will see you next time.